In today's video, we'll be asking one simple question. Is it possible to make a good Backrooms game and Godot? I've been excited to try out what Godot 4 has to offer, and I think this is the perfect opportunity for this. Version 4 has a sick new lighting system that will make Godot horror games actually good. So let's get right into this. First step is always a good character control. This has been done a million times, and I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. So skedaddle skedoodle, your code is now our code. Find some textures. This one looks good in the game, but we need to be able to make big maps. So we're going to use this wonderful man's tutorial to make a tile map of the back rooms. But no, seriously, this is one of the better tutorials I've seen out there. You got me making models in Blender for the first time. Do you guys know how normal maps are supposed to look like? Neither do I. But I still put in whatever came in with the textures, so that's going to cost me a couple of hours later. At least now, I'm able to make some levels. The tiles look good, and next up is figuring out lighting, which involves clicking all the buttons until something starts looking good. I wonder why the shadows are all messed up. Must be Godot's grid map not working proper. Can't be my normal maps. Ah. It was my normal maps. Time to add some props to the game. Let's separate them to add them to a grid map. What is this? When mom says you have props at home, well, I have to recreate all of the materials myself. Don't worry, I'm basically a blender professional. Damn, that's shiny. Also, like half of these models are floating, and I have no idea why, because they all look level in the hours. So far, working with 3D seems like just a struggle to make different assets work together in a somewhat cohesive manner. Now is the time to add the most important part of the back rooms, the annoying office lights. I was looking for something that could potentially fit in on Sketchfab, but nothing really stood out, and I also was kind of scared of having to deal with more random models. This is when I realized that I don't need one. I have these tiles on the ceiling, and I could just plop in a shiny square in the middle of it and call it a light. This is when, to me, it actually started feeling like a Backrooms game. I'm telling you, Godot 4, it's good. Look at these shadows. With the base of the game put together... <laughs> <laughs> With the base of the game put together, it was time to design the map. I wanted to recreate the scene where the guy is running through this mirror maze hallway. This is also the first place where the engine started struggling a little because I added too many lights and didn't really want to compromise by lowering the shadow quality. Eventually, I made my poor PC run this by lowering the range on the lights and figuring out that I doubled them up in the maze by accident. The final thing I wanted to add for the map was something showing off the scale of the back rooms because I feel like it's something of a recurring theme in the lore. So I made this huge room with long rows of desks, and the last two things we needed was a VHS filter and an entity to chase us around. So I added those, and this is what I ended up with. Ha <laughs> ha 